Hello everyone, my name is Anna and you are welcome and welcome back to my channel. So journey for safe and new exercises to close to diastasis. Let's start. So we're going to lie on the back, sliding only from the side to avoid pressure into your back and pelvic floor. Slide on your arm, place your head, chin slightly in, hold your upper knee and roll to your back. Come back to the middle of your mat. And oh, straight your left leg, place your right foot on top of your left knee and to the side of the knee so you can find the line for your feet. And then your left foot is joining the right one. Open your feet to the side, hip wide apart. Spread your toes and root your feet into the mat. Lift your buttocks slightly, hold your pelvis, thumbs up. As you exhale to the most, you are going to send your pelvic, your pubic bone toward your nose slightly and your buttocks toward your heels. So exhale to the most and lead your pelvis as far as you can toward your heels. Great. Place your palms behind the head. Leave just a millimeter from the mat. Chin slightly in, lengthen your neck. Great job. Arms up, lower your shoulders, externally rotate your arms, lower them down, palm facing up. Open a little bit more to the side so it would be more easy not to place your palms on your stomach. Close your eyes if you want. We are going to just bring our awareness to the kind of work we are going to do today. And the breath is very important here. So exhale to the most. Release completely your toes. Then release your belly. Open your nostril in there. Exhale through the most. Breathe into your nostril. As you exhale to the most, imagine that you are closing the zip from your pubic bone toward the base of your sternum. You can release in there. You can place your palms on your rib cage. It will help lower your shoulders. And again, exhale. Feel the closing of your zip. Deeper and deeper. Release in there. Let's add the engagement of the pelvic floor muscle to go deeper into the process. So first you engage, like to return a knee, and then exhale. Deeper your exhalation. Feel the closing of your zip, lower your shoulders. Soft your jaws, and release in air. Engage, exhale. Deep exhalation. You can also begin to press the bump of your head slightly into the mat. Then release in there. Two more. Engage. Exhale. Deepen your exhalation. And press the bump of your head. Release in there. Engage. Begin exhalation. Deepen your exhalation. Begin the action of pressing the bump of the head. Release in there. Great job. Release your arms down. And now we're going to place your arms close to the rib cage. Lower your shoulders, bend your elbows so your fingertips are pointing up. Imagine you hold a physio ball, a small one, between your palms. Engage the pelvic floor muscle, exhale, and begin to press this physio ball. Even, imagine you have one. You can use a real one if you want. Release down in there. Lower your shoulders. So first we engage, then we exhale. And you know you begin the actions. That's why I'm saying that so too much. And release in there. It's very important not to do everything together. One, you engage. Two, you exhale. Depending the exhalation, begin the action. Press the bow. Release in there. Four more. Engage, exhale. Press the bow. Release in there. Engage. Exhale, press, release in air. Engage, exhale, press, release in air. Engage, exhale, press the bow, release in air. Engage, exhale, press the bow. Release in air. Last one. Engage. Exhale. 
press the bow. Very easy now. Great. Please complete your arms. You can check them if it's needed. And oh, again, bend your elbows, join your palms together, and oh, send your forearms so they are looking at the sky. Your elbows are bended 90 degrees and join the, the base of your palms together. This is important. So engage, exhale, press the base of your palms and begin to squeeze your elbows toward each other. Then release the inhale. So when you squeeze your elbows, you can open your palms like to open a flower. Engage, exhale, deepen the exhalation and we begin to squeeze the elbows. Squeezing, yes, the arms are working too. Release the inhale. Engage, exhale, and squeeze. Imagine you have a tennis ball between your elbows. You want to squeeze it. Release the inhale. Engage, exhale, and squeeze. Lower your shoulders, don't be here. Release in there. Engage. Exhale. And squeeze. Put your fins into the mat. Great job. Let's do it a little bit different now. So engage. Exhale. Now you want to squeeze the right toward the left. So only the right is coming in. Release in there. Not the left. Engage. Exhale. Squeeze the left. Release in there. Engage, exhale, squeeze the right, that is inhale, engage, exhale, squeeze the left, that is inhale, let's add something more with our legs now, engage, exhale, as you begin to squeeze the right, press the right leg into the mat and leave the left one, pay attention to stabilize your core, so nothing is bulging to your belly or your back is arching. You stay in the same position and return down in there. Engage, exhale, press down the left leg into the mat, lifting the right one, squeezing the left elbow. Don't try to touch knee to elbow because you are going to lift your sacrum from the mat. You want to keep the sacrum and the mat and release down in there. Engage, exhale. Right elbow, left leg, and down. Engage, exhale, no, left elbow, right knee, but it's down. Engage, exhale, right elbow, left knee, open your palms, it's helping. I forgot to do that. Engage, exhale, left elbow, right knee. One more in each side. Engage. Exhale. Left, right elbow, left knee. That is down. Last one. Engage. Exhale. Left elbow, right knee. That is down. That is your arms. Check your arms a little bit. It's needed maybe. Great job. As you exhale to the mouth, send back one arm, the side that you want to roll on. Next exhalation, press the leg on the same side and lift the opposite one. Help yourself to roll on your side. We are going to stay on the side for a moment. So join your legs together and you want to keep less than 90 degrees between your thighs and your bust, chin slightly in. Pay attention to have your head and your back on the same line and both of your hips on the same line. So check that. Great job. Imagine you have a wall behind you, so you want to be against this wall. In your palms, then place your palms on the mat, your elbow is pointing up, you can be on your fingertips if it's needed, if it's easier for you. Engage the pelvic floor muscle, exhale, and press with this palm, like you want to roll on your back, but you are not rolling on your back. Stay here, release only the belly in there, don't collapse. Engage, exhale, press the mat, so feel that your lower side is lifted up. Then release in there. Engage. Exhale. And now begin to twist this palm so now your fingertips are looking forward. Release in there. Engage. 
exhale, deep exhalation, and now begin to pull with the, this left palm. So we are doing this kind of movement, but not moving really, like going to slide forward. Then release, inhale. Engage, exhale, and pull the hand. Imagine that you are squeezing a small ball um, under your armpits, the upper one, of course. Release, inhale. Engage, exhale, and begin to pull. So all the action are not going together, not on the same time. Release in there. So first we contract or engage, then we exhale, and then we pull. Great job. Release in there. Four more with a little twist. Engage, exhale, pull, and now try to open your knee up. Not too much. You don't want to roll on your back. Just a little bit. Down, release. Engage. Exhale, pull, open the tie, down, release. Engage, exhale, deepen your exhalation, pull, open the tie, release down, inhale. Engage, exhale, pull with your palm, open the tie, release down, inhale. Engage, exhale, pull your palm. Open the tie, release down, inhale, I think we're the last one, yes. Engage, exhale, pull your palm, open the tie, release down, completely, great job. So check this palm if it's needed, stretch your upper leg, and help yourself with your palm, we are moving to sit on your heels. So keep some space, like hip wide apart between your thighs and move your fingertips forward like spiders. Chin slightly in, push the bump of your head up. We are moving to our cat position directly. It's a modified cat position, so pay attention please. So first you engage your pelvic floor muscle, feel that you're scooping your tailbone in. And then exhale, push into your buttocks so those are moving you up and keep your buttocks behind the knee and not on the same line. So we are not here. This is a regular cat position. We are here. Feel this lengthening of your spine, this stretching your lower back. Release completely your head. Now release your belly in there. Engage. Exhale. Push into the mat with your fingertips. Scoop your tailbone in. And imagine you are closing your zip again. Close your zip deep and deep and deep and deep up. Then release your belly in there, engage, exhale, push the mat with your fingertips, so release completely your head, close your zip, release your belly in there, engage, exhale, press the mat, deepen your exhalation, close your zip more and more up, as fast as you can, release in there, once more, engage, exhale, closing your zip, Push onto your fingertips, release your head completely. Great job. Then release, inhale. Let's add something here. Engage, exhale, press the mat, close your zip, and begin to walk your right palm forward and lift your right arm up a little bit. Stay here for a moment. Then release down, inhale, engage, exhale, close your zip, walk your left fingertips. Lift your left arm up a little bit. Keep your, your belly in. Don't release yet. And down, and then release. We never tuck your belly in um, actively. It's the result of the contraction of the pelvic floor muscle and the exhalation. Very important to notice that. So last one on each side. So first we engage, exhale, press the mat. Release your head, close your zip, work your right fingertips, lift your right arm up, fits what's happening to your right side, and lower. Release belly, engage, exhale, press the mat, release your head, close your zip, work your left fingertips up, down, and release completely. Your belly, and sit again on your heels. Great job. Bless your palms, fingertips alongside your knees, chin slightly in. As you exhale, keep your back completely straight as you rise yourself 
your best app. So let's do now the other side and the mat. So slide on your arm. Bring your knees and your thighs a little bit closer to you. Chin slightly in, imagine the wall behind you. Keep your back and your head on the same line. In with your palm, elbow pointing up, lower shoulders don't be here. Yes. And then engage, exhale, push like you want to roll on your back, but stay just here. And with his inhale. Engage, exhale, push onto the palm, feel that your lower side is lifted up. Then release in there. And now engage, exhale, twist your palm and pull. Release in there. And again, engage, exhale, begin to pull your hand like you want to slide forward. Release in there. Engage, exhale, deepen your exhalation and begin to pull with your palm. Release in there. Engage, exhale, deepen your exhalation and pull. And now try to open your thigh up just a little bit. Close, release in there. First you engage, two you exhale, yes. And then you pull and try to open your thigh. Release down, in there, engage, exhale, deepen the exhalation, pull the palm, open the thigh. Close and release. Two more. Engage. Exhale. Pull. Open the tie. Release down. Inhale. Last one. Engage. Exhale. Pull the palm. Open the tie. Release down. Inhale. Great job. Stretch your upper leg. Help yourself to come back to sit on your heels. Shake your arms a little bit. Maybe it's needed because we're working a lot also with your arms. So keep some space between your thighs. If you have sensitive knees, you can add something under your knees and work your palms forward. Keep your back completely straight, chin slightly, push the bump of your head up so your chest is rising up, lower your shoulders. Glue your palms to the mat. Engage the pelvic floor muscle, exhale, pull yourself. Pull your arms completely straight. Inward your inner elbow, keep your buttocks backward. So we are in all four posture. Relax back and belly in there. Engage, scoop your tailbone in. Exhale, press the mat and lower your forearms to the mat. Pay attention to keep your elbows under your shoulders. So don't move forward. Stay here. Realign your wrist if it's needed. And relax your belly in there. Don't collapse here. Push the mat all of the way. Engage. Exhale. As you press the mat, imagine the closing of your zip and you want to squeeze your forearms together. Try to squeeze them strongly so they're not moving. Just maybe the skin is rolling a little bit. Then release in there. Engage. Exhale. Keep your buttocks backward. Chin slightly in. Bump up the head up. Squeeze your forearms like you have a physio ball there. Release in there. Engage. Exhale. And begin to squeeze the arm. The forearms. Release in. Now it's a very deep work. Engage. Exhale. Scoop your tailbone in. Squeeze the forearms. Release in there. Last one. Engage. Exhale, squeeze a little bit more. Release, inhale. Great job. Release down. Place your fingertips alongside your body. Chin slightly in. On your next exhalation, keeping your back completely straight, push onto your fingertips. To rise yourself up, we are going to have a last exercise to sit in a cross leg position. I suggest to hire a seat on a yoga block, maybe on a bench, even on a chair. To help to support your back. So, here we are. Bring your knees closer to each other. Cross your legs, of course. Be on the other side of your feet. And then lower your legs 
as they are supported by, by your feet. Hold one tight, rotate slightly in internal rotation, so you are grounding your sitting bones to the side, the same on the other side. Here we go, chin slightly in crown of the head up, bump of the head, pushing backward. Exhale to the most, externally rotate your arms, lower your fingertips. Exhale to the most, push your sitting bones down, top of the head up, bump of the head, like you're the wall behind you. Great job. Here we go. We land on the spine. So here, engage the pelvic floor muscle, exhale. Then rise your arms to the level of your shoulders and stay here, palm facing each other, lower your shoulders, relax them. Relax your belly in there. Engage, exhale. Try to send your left arm forward like you want to touch something and your right shoulder is moving backward. Return to the center, in there. Engage, exhale. No, the right is moving forward, lower your shoulders, and the left is moving backward. Try to keep your arms straight. Release, in there. Engage, exhale. Left forward, right backward. Return to the center, release, in there. Engage, exhale. Deep exhalation. Keep your back completely straight. Release, in there. Engage. Exhale, left is moving forward, right backward, return to the center, release, inhale, last one on the right, engage, exhale, move the right forward, return to the center, and relax down. Great job. Stay just where you are. Hmm, it's a little bit windy today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you have any question regarding to the exercise, don't hesitate to ask me here into the comments. I will be pleased to answer. By the way, those exercises are very good to close the diastasis, but they're sculpting the abs. So even if you don't have a diastasis, it's really working. Don't hesitate to try. I want to thank every one of you that already subscribed to my channel. I'm touched by that, really. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Please, I invite you to do so to be informed on further video coming soon. And you know, this is free, just a little click. It's supporting my job, so thank you. And have a great day. Take care.